morning, everyone. Um, this morning, uh, we got a little bit more upgrades on technology, so I have a wireless mic, so hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. And also, I had to make a promise to Pastor Brian that my next visual wouldn't be as messy, so uh, we'll, I tried to adhere to that. So um, This morning, I wanted to talk to you guys about what we do when we have important decisions or we have difficult choices that we have to make. Um, you know, for some people, they flip a coin. So I got a coin right here. So they have, if it's heads, they'll do this. Or if it's tails, they'll do the other thing. So let's, let's try that right now, OK? So let's just say, if it's heads, I'm going to buy everybody that's here this morning some ice cream. All right, does that sound good, Pastor Brian? OK. Um, but if it's tails, everyone has to buy me ice cream. So that's a lot of ice cream for me. So let's, let's see how that goes. Flip the coin. Caught it. Tails. Um, let's do best two out of three, OK? No, wait. <laughs> so as you can see, that this is not a very good method in order, uh, you can't base your life just on a game of chance, right? So how should we make our important decisions? Um, the Bible says in Matthew 7, starting at verse 7, it says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be opened. So when we ask, when we have an important decision that we have to make, we, have, we should pray, right? That's how we ask. That's how we talk to God. We, we ask God to tell us what to do. So that is the first thing that we usually do. Uh, the second thing is seek. Now, this is probably the first thing that we should do. We should seek the answers first before we ask. But... Sometimes God knows us better than we know ourselves. So he knows that this is probably the second thing that we're going to do. So he says, oh, he says that we need to seek. So how do we seek? Well, um, where does it have all God's answers? And I believe that the Bible is the best way to see where God's answers lie. Because we know that the Bible is God's word. And it is true and reliable. So the third thing is knock. So we're going to face many doors of opportunities in our lives. Uh, when there are several doors and we don't know which one to choose, we ask, we had to knock on those doors and we had to wait for God to open those doors for us. So that means that we don't just open any door that happens. Uh, we have to wait and we have to be patient and we have to listen to when God opens that door for us. Uh, we have to be patient, which that is one of the hardest things that we can do. So we know that God has what's best for us. And he knows that those opportunities that are best for us, those are the doors that he's going to open, not just the things that we want. So we need to remember that when we face important decisions, that we have to seek God's answer in the Bible, that we have to ask for it, that we pray to God and ask that he opens those things for us. And that we wait for God to open those doors of opportunity. When we do that, that we can, uh, any opportunity or uh, decision that we make, we know that it's with God's will when we do those three things. So, let's pray. Dear Lord, help us to remember to ask for those answers to the difficult decisions that we face every day. We know that what's best for you know what's best for us, Lord, and we should trust in your ways above our ways every time. Help us to make your word a lamp upon our feet and a light onto our path. Send us your Holy Spirit to guide and direct us. It's in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen. Ooh.